When most people think about neurons and nerve cells, they think about the brain. However, in addition to your brain and spinal cord, you also have a network of nerves running throughout your body. And the role of this nervous system is to take in information from the world, make decisions about it, and then send information and orders back to the body and the body's tissues. The nervous system can be broken down into two parts. One part is called the central nervous system, which we're going to call the CNS, and the other is the peripheral nervous system, which we're going to call the PNS. The central nervous system can be broken down into two parts. The first is the brain, and the second is the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system can also be broken down into two categories. The first is sensory neurons, and these are the neurons that are responsible for taking in information from the environment. And then we also have the motor neurons, which are responsible for the output. In terms of sensory neurons, we're talking about neurons that are in our eyes that help us see, that are in our ears that receive auditory signals, in our nose and mouth that receive chemical signals from the environment, but it also receives information from our muscles about where our body is in space. So the peripheral nervous system is not only collecting sensory information from outside the body, but from inside as well. Motor neurons can also be broken down a little bit further into the somatic system and the autonomic system. The somatic portion of the peripheral nervous system controls voluntary movement of our skeletal muscles. So when you reach out to grab a glass of water or type something onto your keyboard, you're activating the somatic portion of your peripheral nervous system because these are voluntary actions. The autonomic portion of our peripheral nervous system controls things that are beyond our conscious awareness. This is the part of our nervous system that acts on internal organs and glands. So things like the movement of your intestines or the release of insulin, these are all things that are controlled by the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system itself can be broken down into two parts. One is the sympathetic nervous system. The other is the parasympathetic nervous system. 